I don't know if I've ever mentioned it, but I am a full-time engineer. That's right. I daylight as an engineer and I moonlight as a cool guy. I mean, I'm cool doing the day too, but because my main thing is engineering, that means I know all about it, right? You can ask any professional something about their field and they'll give you an answer. They'll cook up an answer for you. That's how that works, right? So because it is true, I know everything about engineering. I figured I don't want to be selfish. I don't want to just keep all this knowledge. It's actually burdensome keeping all this knowledge in. So today I'm going to let it out. You know, it's good to talk things out. So today I'm going to be going through some frequently asked questions about working as a full-time engineer. And I said I'm an engineer, not creative. So I didn't actually come up with these questions. These are all from zipia.com. And they actually already have answers. So I'm just going to, I'm going to fact check. I'm going to make sure they're correct. I'm going to keep you honest, Zipia. How can I start engineering? You can start engineering by deciding on which field of engineering is of most interest to you. There are over 30 specialized engineering majors. Not all schools have the same offerings. It is interesting, right, that they say you decide which field you want to go into. But most engineers start by taking the same courses their freshman year. So even if you haven't totally figured out what kind of engineering you want to be in, you can kind of get close enough and then pivot, depending on how your school handles switching majors. I mean, that's what I did. I was a computer engineering major for like a year and a half, and then I switched to electrical. I don't know, I guess I just felt more of a spark. <laughs> Okay. Can everyone become an engineer? No, not everyone can become an engineer. Okay. <laughs> you can tell this wasn't written by a parent because parents lie to their kids because it's the right thing to do. It's true. It's weird, right? In the real world, you're a bad person if you lie, but if you're a parent, it's bad if you don't lie. That's why so many kids grow up thinking they can be astronauts and vets, but you know, they probably ran their childhood pet over with their car when they got their permit. So, you know, they can't become a vet. You know, even if your kid gets scared on planes and they have to take Xanax to take the edge off, still tell them they can become an astronaut, okay? Can kids take Xanax? Is that a thing? I mean, they can. They're capable. But should they? I don't know. But the point is, you're supposed to lie to your kids and be like, you can do whatever you want. You know? But for engineering, apparently it takes time, dedication, and a bachelor's degree from an accredited engineering program at a college or university. Okay, that's true, right? Does that mean you need those things to be an engineer? No, of course not. <laughs> but if you want a corporate job today, ooh yeah, you need those three things. <laughs> How long does it take to become an engineer? It takes four years of professional experience to become an engineer. That is the time it takes to learn specific engineering skills, but does not account for time spent in formal education. Okay, well that, <laughs> that means I'm not an engineer yet, because I've only been working for like a year full time. And they say they don't include school, so I'm not even an engineer yet. If you include the normal education requirements to complete a college degree, then it takes seven to nine years to become an engineer. That, okay. Well, that's who's making the rules. I would like to talk to the manager. You know, I think the textbook answer is it takes four years, right? Four years of undergrad. Well, five if you're super cool. But it takes four years to get a degree in engineering and then you got it. But I would even argue it takes less time to become an engineer. I think if you just create something new that solves a problem, then boom, you're an engineer. You made a thing, a mechanism that solved a problem. You're an engineer. You don't even have to have schooling, okay? The only people that say engineers have to go through school are those engineers you don't want to talk to, you know? Those guys that are like, uh, oh, you're not an engineer because you don't have this thing. Yeah, the people that gatekeep engineering, don't listen to them. They didn't even build the gate, okay? So how are they an engineer? They didn't build the thing they're keeping. Dumbasses. Okay. What is a good starting salary for an engineer? A good starting salary for an engineer is $64,000 in the United States. That puts you in the 10th percentile of annual income for an engineer in the U.S., which is about what you would expect if you were new to the field. The average salary for engineers is $86,463, but that normally requires some level of experience to achieve. Furthermore, a good starting salary for an engineer can vary by state. Okay, that seems believable, right? But apparently it wasn't believable enough because the next question is, do engineers make 300k? <laughs> yes. Every engineer makes $300,000 a year. Can you imagine? Holy shit. <laughs> then it would make sense if you went to the doctor and they kept you in the waiting room forever because there wouldn't be a doctor to see you. No one would do that shit. If every engineer was making $300,000, 
Everyone would be an engineer. Are you kidding me? Social media influencers don't even make that much and everyone wants to be one of those nowadays, you know? No, engineers do not typically make 300k. Typically. There's hope. While the starting salary for engineers is high, average earnings in the US are typically between 67,000 and 156,000 a year. The average 2021 salary for engineers is 70K. Income varies dramatically based on which field of engineering you are in and where you live. So basically, do engineers make 300K? Sometimes. Do engineers make good money? I don't know. Do they make 300K? Yes, engineers make good money. The job requires a bachelor's degree, specific licensing and expertise. The work is highly competitive, technical, and in high demand in all industries. Engineers have some of the highest average salaries in the US, Depending on which field of engineering, an entry-level engineer can earn anywhere between 60000 and 80000 their first year. In addition to regular salaries, engineers will earn bonuses and stock options. Unless it is the current economy. <laughs> but do engineers make good money? It depends what you consider good, right? If you're a billionaire, you know, an annual salary is like a round trip on your PJ. But for me, yes, engineers make good money. How many vacation days do engineers get? That's funny. That implies that every, <laughs> just across the board, every engineer has the same amount of vacation days. Engineers get between 15 to 25 vacation days. This range is above the average of 10 PTO days, considered typical for many professions. Of course, a bunch of factors can all impact number of vacation days engineers receive, so results may vary. I guess. What benefits do engineers get? They get to tell everyone they're an engineer and just feel superior, you know? Yeah, nothing better than going to an Easter party and just ooh, baiting people into being like, oh, what do you do for work? Oh, let me tell you what I do. Besides like me in middle school, I've never heard someone so proud to talk about how they stare at a computer screen all day. <laughs> if an engineer ever asks you what you do for work, they don't care. They just want you to reciprocate the question. It's like when someone went on a really nice vacation and then they get back and they ask you, hey, so you you travel lately anywhere? <laughs> they don't care about that weekend camping trip you had. They just want you to ask them about Italy, you know? Engineers are just a group of people. They want you to ask them about how cool they are. But you gotta wonder, are they cool? If they don't make 300k? Can an engineer make 100k? Well, we know they can make 300k, so yeah. Yeah, they can. Unless you're talking about exactly 100k. I don't know. Maybe there's a rule that you can't pay engineers exactly 100k. So maybe this is false. Maybe engineers can't make 100k. They can make more or less than 100k. But I'll be damned if you think they can make 100k, okay? What are career paths in engineering? any engineering role next question that was easy come on no let's see there are many career paths in engineering including industrial engineering civil engineering and mechanical engineering and that's it there's no yeah fuck you chemical engineers you're you're screwed you think all that ochem's gonna pay off it's not <laughs> which engineer has the highest salary just one guy which specific engineer has the highest salary. <laughs> Go on, tell us, which one is it? Which singular engineer out there is making the most out of us, hmm? We know it's more than 300K. Out yourself, coward. Okay, why aren't you picking up the tab at dinner, hmm? What skills should an engineer put on their resume? You should say that you can't watch Iron Man without making comments the whole time. <laughs> engineers love watching Iron Man just to be like, nah, it's not, no, you can't do that, sorry, that's not how that works, no, no, sorry, yeah, you can't fly like that, that's not how that works, bud, okay, you think you can just shoot a f***ing laser beam from your hand, not realistic, okay, Tony Stark, that's even your real name, okay, uh, but no, the skills an engineer should put on their resume are those that represent your unique combination of engineering experience and education. I mean, we all go through these very similar undergrad programs, so how you become unique, that's gonna be tough, but you can do it for sure, yeah. <laughs> but how do you do it, Garb? What's, what's something that could make you stick out? Well, I can't tell you, because if I say it here, then a bunch of people are gonna copy it, and then it's not unique anymore, so. You're on your own, sorry. Are engineers happy? Okay. <laughs> 
If it's a frequently asked question, you know there's a problem. If a frequently asked question about your profession is, are those people happy? You got an issue. But uh, no, yes, engineers are happy. According to a recent survey, a staggering 87% of engineers sampled said they were extremely satisfied with their jobs. And uh, apparently full-blown liars. Are you kidding me? Extremely satisfied? No. No, no, no. I've eaten chocolate chip cookies that were satisfactory. It takes a lot to be extremely satisfied, okay? Are you saying that engineers find their jobs better than most chocolate chip cookies? I find that hard to believe. I don't know if that comparison tracks, but you know. Also the wording of extremely satisfied, that has big hostage energy, you know? <laughs> Do you enjoy engineering? Uh, yes, I, I like it. <laughs> The way I told you. I, I mean, I'm extremely satisfied. The survey also stated that engineering ranks as the number one profession in terms of happiness. Bullshit. Bull fucking shit. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm unhappy with my job, but guys, come on. A frequently asked question is, are engineers happy? And then you're gonna turn around and be like, no, we're actually the happiest. <laughs> this is like when a kid steals a cookie from a cookie jar and you question them. You saw them do it. And they have cookie crumbs all over their mouth and they're still like, no. I've actually never tasted a cookie in my entire life. It's like, man, I... It's also so funny that they found a way to quantify happiness. They ranked professions. And then, of course, engineers were like, yeah, and we're number one. We're the happiest ones. They made happiness a stat. And then we're like, yeah, we're number one in that one. Yeah, we won that one. That one's ours. Give that to us. Can an engineer work from home? Depends who you ask. <laughs> but yes, an engineer can work from home. However, however, the nature of the job may require some in-person work or collaboration with colleagues, particularly in fields such as civil or mechanical engineering, where site visits and physical inspections are necessary. That seems like an HR violation. What is a physical inspection? Oh, you mean a buildings. Okay, that lead with that then. And it still looks like people aren't too convinced because the question right under that one is, can engineers work from home? <laughs> yeah, yeah, an engineer can work from home, but can engineers work from home? Yes, some engineers can work from home. With the advancements that are constantly occurring in terms of technology, didn't know a webcam was such a big advancement. Uh, many engineering jobs can be performed from a home office or in a remote capacity, as long as the engineer has the proper technology, software, and tools that it takes to accomplish their job. So basically, yeah, if they can. How many hours a week do engineers work? Okay, I'm not even gonna look, but the answer should be 40. If it's anything other than 40, watch out. On average, Engineers work a 40-hour work week. Okay. This is pretty typical for a professional career, but unlike other professional careers, engineers often work overtime and on weekends to finish various projects. <laughs> That's funny to think of a surgeon working overtime. They, like, are doing the surgery, and they're like, oh, that's the end of my day. You know what? I'm going to pick this up tomorrow. <laughs> hey, listen, my tomorrow's pretty free, but what time works for you? Huh? You're unconscious, right? How to become an engineer without a degree? Just tell people you are one. That's, it's really that simple. I'm not saying this from a place of experience, but I can imagine you can probably get a lot of mileage out of just telling someone you are a thing. It's just about the confidence, you know? Yeah, I'm an engineer. And actually lying about being an engineer works in your favor because engineers don't even know how to describe what they do. So if you just tell people you're an engineer and then they ask you, oh, what do you do? And you say, eh, you know, I can't really describe it. That's what an engineer would say. Engineers can never describe what they do because either it's confidential or it's complicated. Even if it's not. We just say that to lie to ourselves. That we are valuable. <laughs> yeah, no, my thing is pretty complicated. Only a niche part of the population. Sorry, the populace could do it. So <laughs> I'm not even gonna burden you <laughs> uh, with the uh, description of what I do, okay? <laughs> We'd be here all day. We know that for sure, okay? <laughs> but they say to become an engineer without a degree, you must determine what field of engineering you want to work in, become self-taught, or attend online training courses and build a work portfolio. So yeah, just proving to people that I know what I'm doing. And see, that's the nice thing about school. A degree makes it to where you don't have to prove that you know what you're doing. The people without degrees are probably better engineers, honestly, <laughs> because they have to vouch for themselves. 
all the people with degrees just had to like flash a card and they were like, yeah, no, come on in. That's great. I love that. Love what you're doing. Love what you're about. Whereas if you don't have a degree, you got to be like, this is all the stuff I did. Can you let me in? They're like, ah, I'm still not sure about you. Who's that guy behind you? Does he have a degree? Let him in. <laughs> How to get an engineering job with no experience. Again, lie on your resume. That's, yep. This is financial advice. <laughs> no, what do they say? To get an engineering job with no experience, use this guide. Determine what type of engineering you want to pursue. There are so many different types of engineering. If you don't have experience, the essential first step is to figure out what type of engineering you want to be. That's right. So you want to get an engineering job with no experience? Figure out which one you want to do. You'll have a job. What are the qualifications for engineering? The qualifications for engineering are a degree in engineering, engineering skills, and engineering training or experience. Seems pretty engineering focused. There are so many different kinds of engineering and qualifications vary depending on the field of engineering, the industry, the engineer works in, and the specific engineering job title. So, you know, a lot of flavors to pick from. What do engineers do on a daily basis? Yes, we're all programmed to do the same thing every day. So this is a good question, yeah. And the answer is engineers design and create engineering projects, analyze data and test prototypes, and collaborate with other engineers and related professionals on a daily basis. See, that's the weird thing about engineering is that that's right. That's the correct answer. But that doesn't tell anyone anything. It's just so general that if you tell anyone that, they have no clarity into what you actually do. Yeah, you know, I work on engineering projects and uh, test prototypes and work with others. So it's kind of my day to day right there. <laughs> broken down by the hour. Got pretty granular with that one. I'm sure you understand completely what I do now. And if you do, can you tell me? Because I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. What is a professional engineer? Someone that doesn't chuckle when another person says, yeah, just stick it in there when they're talking about a USB. A professional engineer, a PE, is an engineer licensed by a state board to practice engineering. Not to be confused with the class where you play dodgeball. That's a different type of PE. What is a typical day for an engineer? A typical day for an engineer involves planning and designing, analyzing and budgeting, collaborating and communicating, and staying up to date on industry trends. It's just so general. It's, <laughs> it's like trying to describe what's it like to be a human. You know, we're experiencing and breathing and living and thinking and talking and uh, walking sometimes. So you get it, right? What degree do you need to be an engineer? A Bachelor of Science degree in engineering is needed to be an engineer. Whew. That one came out of left field. What is the career path for an engineer? Work at a place until you get fired, and then jump to another company and increase your pay by 50%. Or you just work at a place for 40 years until you retire. Yeah. The career path for an engineer involves jobs as a staff engineer, senior engineer, and principal engineer. That's right. So the career path for an engineer is, let me check my notes again, an engineer. Okay, that checks out. So yeah, straight from the horse's mouth, those are some frequently asked questions about engineering answered by an engineer. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, like the video, and subscribe if you haven't already. And just remember, no matter how happy you are, somewhere out there, there's an engineer that's happier than you. Yeah. Even happiness is a competition. Engineers are insane. Insanely happy. <laughs> yeah. No, it's definitely a cry for help, though. <laughs>